and welcome to The One Show with Matt Baker. And Alex Jones. Now, tonight, the start of a hugely popular TV show about a grumpy GP who lives in a fishing village. Let's see him in action. En tout cas, consultez au plus vite, sinon c'est la canne blanche assurée. No, not him. Lo que antes me parecía normal, ahora me parece extraordinario. Dar, respirar, ver un paisaje. No him. Let's have another go. Smettila. Hey! Non le parli in questo modo. È il mio ambulatorio, quindi le dico ciò che mi pare. Get in there now. It's the original Doc Martin. It's Martin Clunes, of course. We saw there the French, the Spanish, and then the Italian version of Doc Martin. You sound good speaking Italian. Oh, you do. Yeah, Italian. He must dub everything. That could they? Oh, everybody sounds like that, don't they? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> You'll play well at chess. Yeah. yeah. But, there, I mean, a nod there to how successful mm. Doc Martin is yeah. worldwide. What is it, 208 Mental. countries or something? Yes, it's either make their own or, or watch ours. Right. Or put their voices on. And do they follow the same storylines, then? They can't overtake yours? us. My wife won't let them. <laughs> Yeah, she's in charge of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. She won't have it. They can't have another child. And the Spanish, I think they've overtaken us. They've done more episodes than we have. And they're champing to, at the bit to have another child. It's like, well, we don't know if we're going to stay married. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Hey, what, what power. What yeah. power you have. Good. But well, we'll talk more about yeah, it. Yeah, we will. Because the show is back, of course, for the sixth series over yeah. here. And uh, you spent a lot of time in a certain Cornish seaside village. So we'll check how well you know the locals a little bit later on. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, you can hear the seagull. They're all calling right now. But anyway, um, a new report has given the economy a bit of a thumbs up, predicting that Britain will expand at a fairly Tony yeah. will get the freedom of Burnley after that. Possibly. Yeah. You were just saying that. You've never been to Burnley, but you're going now. I think I'm... Am I going now? Yeah, we are. <laughs> OK. <now>. Yes. Captain <laughs> They might give me the freedom. <laughs> I've done something wrong. So, Doc Martin, then, as we said, is back for a sixth series, yes. which people will be delighted to hear. Yes. And the relationship between yourself, well, Doc Martin, and Louisa, who's yes. the headmistress, is central again, isn't it? Yes. yes. But we are going to show... <laughs> yes, it is. But we are going to show a clip now of the first time you met Louisa uh, in the first episode back in 2004. Here it is. You've got a problem. There we are. Machine's the one with the problem, and that's how it all started, Martin. That's that yes, it? that was it. it. Was a love thing. Yeah. It did look yeah. a bit stalker-esque, though. A bit stalky, yes. Yeah. Yes. There's no one just taking a long time for it to come together. <laughs> I thought it was quite. You actually went into character while you were watching that, Martin. Did I? I you were on there, and you were sort of doing the same facial expressions about it. But I mean, for a long time, I mean, this relationship, you know, will they, won't they? Yes. That's been going on for yes. for some years. Yes. So where do you go now? Because you've kind of well, you've done it now. We've you? done the will they won't they? You know, almost, almost ad nauseum. So we got we had to do they did, didn't they? You know, and they yes. had the uh, the baby, and then we the challenge this season is to make them live together as man yeah. and wife. How emotional was the wedding, knowing that it's been on the cards for so long? Because it happened Monday night for us viewers. Um, it was actually. It's always yeah. um, uh, it's always just very emotional seeing a bride in a church door, isn't it? That's very um, yeah. It, it just is, and Caroline looked absolutely Aww. stunning in her dress, and it, it was it was quite exciting. And we had more extras than we've ever had before. We were quite excited that they were at the wedding. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, but, I bet they were. I bet the because you have like kind of a live audience almost, don't you? So many. Yeah, people kind of. Yes. Yeah. The church yard must have been rammed for that. <laughs> they were. They were. A, it was a good house. Yeah, I bet. But one of the things that we were talking about early, because as you said, your wife is the producer of Doc mm. Martin, and the the first dance for yourself and Louisa yes. in the series was You Are Sailing. No, We Are Sailing. What's Which it called? Which was the same dance. We yeah, Are yeah, Sailing. I Am Sailing. I Am Sailing. Which was... Oh, I Am Sailing. <laughs> Somebody sailing? So please call in if you know yeah. who is sailing. <laughs> Help us. <laughs> Around the interesting telling. point is that, that was it, correct me if I'm wrong, that this was your first dance at yours and your wife's wedding. Uh, no, better than that, the choir. The choir at, um, at uh, uh, St Bride's Church on Fleet Street sang it. And to begin, I yeah. am At your wedding. Yeah, 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 yeah as, we were, as we were sailing out. So was that not quite strange then, having, you know, your kind of on-screen <laughs> wedding, um, similar to your real-life wedding, well, we and just, your wife was producing it? Well, we are sort of quite silly about that, because the baby's named after our Jack Russell, you know, it's all... <laughs> there's, we shoehorn bits of our... 
We assume from bits of our real life. Normal lives, and for instance. real students, what, there's all sorts of funny patient names that you know we try and bury yeah, in yeah. there. For, yeah. They're just things that make us laugh. And of course, then it goes worldwide because, as you say, then the, the plots follow. Yes, you James Henry. Yes, yeah. the baby. <laughs> After a Spanish Jack Russell. Well, let's see the dark as we know and love him in next Monday's episode. Oh yes. Look, Doctor, I got a tiny bit of itch, and I'm actually not that bothered. Mm. What is it? It's a fungus. Fungus? Candida intertrigo. It's a fungal infection. What, like a virus? No. It's a yeast that flourishes in the moist folds of skin on fat people. Excuse me? Do you bathe at all? Yes, I do. Well, it's obviously time to step it up. Get amongst these crevices and sluice them out. <laughs> Sorry if that put you off your tongue. Yeah, that's a lovely tea time clip there, isn't it? Yeah. But oh, in ten years, crazy. it's been going on. Yeah. Are you going to quit while you're at the top? I mean, well, what's the plan there? No, because it's so. You know, it's the last good job in telly, uh, as far as we're concerned, and the crew. Because uh, the crew, you know, if you work in London, you've got an hour and a half's commute either side of wherever you are. We're, we're 11 and a half hours on camera every day. Mm. Right. So it's a long day if you add the commuting in as well yeah. for the crew. But they live in the set on this. And it's a holiday location and it's, um, and it's really nice. And, um, we, we, you know, we spend more time there than some second homeowners in Port Isaac. And so we are quite embedded in there. There you go. Well, I don't know. You've done this clip. They're probably all well, there. Yeah. Just now. But... <laughs> it's going to be on forever. Forever. Uh, Doc Martin will be on forever. Okay. Yeah. Well, well if can... I get too old, my daughter's going to play the doctor. Well, you can control, you can just yes, kind of... Yes, yes, yes. Or the Jack Russell. Yeah. Yeah. You won't tell the difference. <laughs> Fine. Um, but you can see the next episode of Doc Martin on ITV next Monday at 9 o'clock. Yes, and as Martin just pointed out there, we will be finding out how well he actually knows the village where the series is filmed and if you can recognise his own baby. Let's hope so. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Martin, we know you love horses, of course, and you've yes. been a big supporter of the riding for the disabled yeah, um, yeah. in the past, haven't you? Yeah, so you'll be more than familiar with the achievements of Paralympic gold medalist Natasha Baker. Here is her story. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what a team! Team Baker is, Natasha. Yeah. The Bakers are the best. <laughs> and of course, your mum and dad aren't here because the commitment yeah. is too much, isn't They're it? They're doing they do horses it? tonight. Well, of course so. they are. So oh. I can't be lunch. there. Yeah. Yeah. So what a year it's been. We were just saying there, it's a, a, exactly a year yesterday. Yeah, I won um, my second gold medal in my freestyle event yesterday. So right. it seems like such a long time ago, but then when I see the video back like that, it feels like yesterday. Yeah. Mm. And how have things been for you in the last year then? It, it's been a whirlwind. Has um, it been? I've been so, so busy. I've mm. been to Buckingham Palace and met the Queen a few times, and now I've got MBE at the end of my name, uh -huh. which oh, is wow. just amazing. Um, and it's been great because I've been able to go back into schools and speak to lots of children and hopefully inspire them to follow their dreams as well. But you've been injured as well, haven't you? Yes, yeah. Um, after the Games, I, I literally came back down to earth with a bit of a bump. Um, I fell off of one of my other horses and uh, it was a really, really weird accident. Um, we, in our outdoor school, we've got a bush and a pigeon flew out, literally hit my horse's neck. He stopped dead and I kept going oh. um, and fell off and, uh, and I had to have three months off of riding. Yeah. So it wasn't really the best winter for me and it wasn't really the best preparation going into the Europeans this year. But we got back on track and JP's just such a star. So. Well, in the film, you can see how much of a lovely relationship you do have with your horse, GP, that minute, you know, when he puts his little head down, you come <laughs> in on your motorbike. Um, but, Martin, you were really touched, weren't you, by N Natasha's film? Yeah, it's just great, you know, people and horses. And the RDA is such a... Um, was 50 years old last year, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's such an amazing... Oh, it's incredible. Amazing... It just, you don't have to ride the horses, just no. people being around horses. I'm a big one for that. Just yeah. go and stroke one or hug one. And that's, the, that, that's yeah. where the initial the therapy, therapy starts, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. yeah, Are you still in contact with the physio that initially said... I am. You should go yeah, for this. Yeah, she, she's not my physiotherapist anymore, but she still keeps in contact. And yeah. she's on my Facebook page and commenting wow. on everything, and she's so involved, it's brilliant. And an honorary member of, of Team Baker. Well, Absolutely. congratulations. <laughs> Well, we hope you get to Rio. Oh, Good luck getting the horse. Fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks again. Nice to see you, Natasha. Good. Right. Now, the, uh, the Cornish fishing village of Port Wen is famous the world over, <laughs> despite <laughs> not actually existing in real life. But thankfully, Port Isaac does, and Martin should know every nook and cranny and the locals who live there. But does he? Lucy's there now. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Martin, this is the place that you and your viewers know and love 
as Port Wen. And on a sunny day, it is packed full of tourists and, of course, fans of the show. Now, we'll find out just how well you know this place a little bit later on. But yesterday, I decided I wanted to meet a few more people, and I thought I'd struck lucky. Oh, my goodness, I think I've seen Doc Martin. Martin! Martin! Oh, you're not Doc Martin. No, but I am his double. Body double, really. Um, as you can see, I'm not exactly the spit of his face. But maybe it's in the back of a car shot, my arm, my hand. And how did it feel to see your arm? Uh, a little bit surreal, because obviously it looks just like it's him. It's so seamless, so, you know, it's, it's him from a normal shot and then suddenly a close-up of the arm. I'm thinking, that's, that's my arm. So how did you come to be in Doc Martin? Because my daughter was chosen to be in the play at the school, they rang up and said, do you want to be an extra? And I sort of said, yeah, OK, I don't mind as long as I'm in the background. And now all of a sudden, on this new trailer that's come out on TV, it's just the three of us, there's Martin and Caroline and me, so prominent, you just can't miss it. Is this going to change you, Jill? No. <laughs> I will be in the background from now on, I'll make sure. How do people get his attention? With the dogs. Is or somebody else's dogs? dogs. Yeah, they'll borrow dogs, just so that they can speak to Martin, because they know Martin is going to stop and talk to you if you've got a dog with you, so... Shameless. <laughs> Indeed. Isn't it? Indeed. Is there rivalry between the extras and everybody? You occasionally see when there's a bit of a crowd scene, um, sometimes a little bit of hustle and bustle to see if you can get to the front, possibly, but, but in all honesty, no, it's all, it's all good natured. Martin, it's time for your challenge. How well do you really know your own programme? Right, I'm standing here with all oh, about 40 extras from Doc Martin. Give us a cheer, guys. <laughs> These are local people from Port Isaac. And we're going to find out if you actually know what they do on your show. They're the lifeblood of your show. OK, first up, could you please identify, Mr Clunes, who plays the postwoman on Doc Martin? Is it number one, first class? Number two, <laughs> second class? Or number three, special delivery? Martin, what's your answer? I think it's number one, first class, but I don't remember us having a postwoman. But if, I wasn't in a scene with the Pope. But anyway, it was number one and I know all about it. <laughs> What's your answer? One, two or three? Well, Tell me one, again. One. Number one. Number one. You're going for number one. OK. Would the real postie from Doc Martin please step forward? Oh. Oh. It's Sharon. Sharon, you're actually a real postwoman, aren't I you? I am. Yep. OK, when you deliver the mail on Doc Martin as a fake postwoman, do you do it differently with more of a flourish? So much more slower. So much more yep. slower. Thank you, Sharon. Commiserations, Martin, you got that wrong. Yes. Wrong. Will you fare better with our fishermen? Yes. Which of these gentlemen is the fisherman? Is it one, cod and chips? Two, catch of the day? Or three, potted shrimp? Martin, who is it? One, two, or three? Well, I know. I mean, that's Dennis Knight. He's a real fisherman next to you. Watch him as well. He's got hands. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think it might be number three because he's bearded. I know them all. I mean, they're all in it. Number three, number three. OK, let's have the reveal with the real fisherman from Dot Martin. Please step forward. Yay! It's Tim. Tim's look gives it away. Very good, Tim. Thank you very much. OK, one to Martin, one to us. This is the final one. Babies, Martin, who plays your infant son on Doc Martin, James Henry? Is it one, cuteness, two, sweetness, or three, adorable? Martin, which one? It's one and three. <laughs> one and three. We've had them all. I'm sure. He's, he, oh, he's, he's sure? We've had all of them. All three One are. One three you're going for. One, okay. two and three. With the real baby that plays James Henry, please step forward. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's all <laughs> Jacob We're Noah up to your local, the Crab and Lobster. Which one of you is the landlord? <laughs> no doubt the fun will go on <laughs> well you, into the Disney. night there. Oh dear. Thank you. You I did thought, really uh, well, Martin. I thought they were going to... I have a terrible habit of... It's a great place to buy an ice cream in Port Isaac on a hot day. 
I just go to the crew and say, get, I've opened an ice cream tab in this shop or that shop, go and get yourself an ice cream. And then, of course, I'm in a costume, I've got no money, so I waddle off and yeah. leave huge ice cream bills all over town. There you go, and you do, you, you're paying for all the drinks tonight in the pub there as well, oh. uh, which is very generous. <laughs> anyway, as 